I'm Chloe Adams, I'm 24 and I've been doing music since I was a little kid. Um, I have always been into music. My brother and my cousins were massively into like the pop punk era of the 2000s and I always wanted to kind of be in with the crowd of my brother and my cousins and um, I learnt guitar and um, I used to play the piano when I was a kid and write little stupid little songs <laughs> that were like 13 year old girl songs. Um, and when I was 16, um, I met my fiance, Matt, who's a producer, and uh, we started writing together in his mum's spare bedroom, uh, which we made our little purple bedroom studio. Um, and I started posting covers and stuff on Facebook and YouTube, and it, and it started to gain a bit of a following, and people liked what I was doing and were asking for me to release original music. So um, I released my first song, The Doctor Said, in 2017. It was a very singer-songwriter vibe, because um, at the time, Matt and I didn't really know what else to do because we hadn't really developed our skills properly. Matt was very new to production, um, and I was very new to the whole artist thing. Um, I was just used to like playing uh, my acoustic guitar in pubs <laughs> all over the country that my dad would drive me to. Um, so that's where it started. Um, yeah. <laughs> and um, what effect, because you started, was it when you really took off when you got on TikTok? Could you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, so I started TikTok early 2021. Um, again, I kind of started just posting covers um, and trying to uh, make a group of people that wanted to listen to what I had to say and, and liked the music that I was putting out. Uh, always with the, with the intention of putting the original music on that platform. Um, so that, and I had already built this group of people uh, who wanted to hear that music. So I started posting little clips of original music that I was kind of teasing on that platform. Uh, and I posted uh, a little clip of my song, Dirty Thoughts, uh, in November time, maybe early October time. And it kind of blew up on TikTok. People were like commenting on it saying, please release this song, please release this song it's um, more so than like any of my covers, like it had gone crazy. Uh, so I kind of had like no choice and that was kind of the new beginning of this new genre of music that I'm kind of going into. <laughs> so how many hits have you got on TikTok now? Um, I think Dirty Thoughts has like 9 million TikTok views now, which is insane. <laughs> um, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And why do you think people respond to that song so, so much? I think um, it was written very much with the intention of kind of catching people's attention in three seconds um, because I am a fan of TikTok myself and I know that you can kind of spend evenings like just scrolling through and if something doesn't catch your attention in three seconds like it's gone out of your mind um, and I came in to Matt one day we were going to do a writing session and I said um, I have this amazing idea um, we should write a song called Dirty Thoughts people can't scroll past that on TikTok. <laughs> people can't scroll past like some random blonde girl singing, I get dirty thoughts about you. Um, and Matt was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, hundred percent, let's write it. Um, and we wrote it that afternoon and we stuck the chorus up on TikTok and it kind of like instantly flew. Dirty Thoughts has 9 million views on TikTok currently, which is insane. Um, I find that incredible. Mm. And how did you, what was your reaction then? Did you just watch it keep going up there? Yeah, it was kind of like um, an instant kind of blow up one with that song. Um, sometimes they take a little while to kind of um, catch people's attention, but Dirty Thoughts caught people's attention <laughs> straight away. Um, I was just kind of like sat on my sofa and was watching the views go up from 20,000 to 100,000 to a million. It was insane. Mm. An album is definitely down the pipeline. We're working on it constantly. Uh, but when the time is right, that will come. Uh, but right now we're just releasing songs and preparing for shows and stuff like that, which will be the kind of the debut shows for me. And could you say something about your influences? Because um, it's quite, is it quite down and dirty, quite the, a beat kind of focus. Yeah, so, um, I mean, as, as I mentioned to you earlier, I was, I grew up on Taylor Swift and kind of the country pop stuff. Um, I loved how she transitioned into like the alternative pop. Um, but I'm also a massive fan of like um, bands like Five Sauce um, and 
And yeah, I think it's definitely got that dirty pop alternative thing behind it. Um, very like Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn in music. <laughs> so it's a lot of, it's, it's, it's guitar driven but, and bass driven, but it's also a lot of synth as well. And what message do you have to share through your music? What are the lyrics? I, I like all of the songs to be like very truthful and kind of say the things that people usually choose to gloss over. I guess and I think I've been doing that the whole way through since I've been releasing music since 2017 like um, the first song I released Dr Said was very mental health awareness um, and I've been doing that the entire time and people have always said that to me like it's very honest and I can't believe the some some of the stuff that you say in in the songs um, and very similar with um, my latest single, Dead To Me. Uh, it's kind of a very personal story um, about a very toxic person I had in my life that I decided to just cut out. Um, and it's kind of a brutal depiction of that, but, um, but yeah. Do you think you will keep making the music in your bedroom or would you would you go more commercial or do you just like it how it is? I, yeah, I think it is something very charming about having um, somewhere in your house to be creative. Uh, and it also means you can roll out of bed and do it whenever, um, make it whenever and um, you're not stuck to nine to five. We kind of like do it all the time. Um, so I think we would definitely want to kind of always have a home studio set up maybe a little bit of a bigger one. <laughs> uh, right now it's a tiny kind of cramped room in our little cottage, but it's, um, it's very charming and it gets the job done. And is, is there anything else that you could see yourself doing? Is this it for ever for you now? Oh, 100%, yeah. Um, I mean, in my eyes, I'm kind of just getting started. There's, I, I wanna take it so much bigger. Um, I'm massively into like manifestation and stuff, so. Um, I'm going to manifest it to the top. <laughs> My song, uh, Pretty's on the Inside, which was the second song I released in 2017. Um, I, I can relate to those lyrics so much because I was, when I was younger, I was, um, I was chubby and very geek-like um, and was bullied at school a lot. Um, and kind of was always like to my mom, well, why can't I just be like the pretty girl? And um, and so I think that that song in particular resonates with me the most. Have you got any gigs planned or anything like that? Or? Yeah, so they're unannounced at the minute. We're kind of just getting them sorted, but they'll, they'll be announced very soon. Right, OK. And where can we hear your music? Uh, Spotify, Apple Music, um, all the online music streaming platforms. Right, OK, great. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.